like many other graphics programs, Toon Boom Storyboard Pro lets you work in layers, which is really helpful in animation because we normally work in separate layers for backgrounds and for characters. And so the standard template that comes with the program is that there is one layer called BG for background and one layer on the top just lettered A so that as you add layers on top they'll be renamed B and C etc. There are some details about these layer tabs that are very important to know before we go any further. The one is that you'll see that A is blue and BG is gray. Well that's because A is the currently selected uh, layer. This is the one that we could draw on if we wanted to. And now if I switch over to BG, now BG is selected and anything I draw now will be on the BG. So I'll show you how you can tell are with these little eyeballs. The little eyeballs turn on and off the visibility of the layer. So if I were to turn off the visibility of the background, this letter BG will disappear along with the rest of the background. I'll turn it back on. And now this other scribble was done. I drew it while the A panel was selected. So if I make this disappear by clicking on the eyes, then anything I drew on the A panel will be hidden. The other symbol on here that will be very important is this little uh, circle slash symbol, which basically will lock whatever layer that it's been enabled on. So this layer is now locked because it has the symbol. And by locked, that means I cannot draw on this layer. I get this red circle with a slash going through it, preventing me from drawing on this layer at all. If I unclick that, now I can draw freely. Well, your background, for example, you don't want to draw on it accidentally. So you may choose to lock it off. And then later on when you're drawing, you'll come and grab your brush and start to draw and see that you can't. And it could remind you, oh yeah, I'm drawing on the wrong layer. So then you can click on the A layer, which is, let's say that's going to be your character layer. And you can draw your characters here on your A layer and watch me make it disappear. And that just shows you that you haven't drawn on your background layer. So that's the big benefit of working in layers is that you can isolate your artwork and reuse the same background if you choose to, all kinds of different options there. You can control the opacity of different layers in order so that you don't have to see everything at the same strength if you don't want to. I will choose to add one of these panels for layers. If I click on that, it creates a new panel for layers. And now I can control the opacity of whichever layer is selected. So in this case, the background is drawn in black and it's kind of fighting with the figure a bit so I can go to this opacity and drop it way down if I want to and then I'll let go and then I go back to the panel and you can see now that now that I'm back working in the panel view the background art has not changed but the way that it's viewed has changed because it's faded out so it's not fighting with the uh, characters anymore. Anytime you want to go back to that layers panel you can just hit the background go back to opacity and either use the slider to bring it up or zoop there we go or you can type in the value and then go back to the panel that you're working on it is at full full darkness again by the way if you don't like the background showing through that way there are a couple different options you can go to that background panel choose your eraser and just simply erase the background for that's underneath the character. And there's also another way which doesn't damage any of the underlying art, but it's a little bit more complicated. And that is that you could go to the artwork layer where the character is, choose a paintbrush, a nice thick one, and then choose the color white. And then under tool properties, choose to paint behind. And then Basically, I'm going to be painting behind this character on the character layer, which will put some opaque white behind him. To see what this looks like, if I were to make panel A invisible by turning it off, you can see that the background hasn't been affected at all. 
Of course, there's downsides to this technique too, which is that if you were going to select your character now, he's got all kinds of white fill in there, but um, it's just a technique that you can play around with. It's also possible to create another layer in between the background and the characters to put some opaque white. Those are just some optional tips that some people find useful. Other people don't even bother. They don't mind if the background shows through. And again, you can use the opacity slider to make the background much fainter than the foreground characters.